family if i said it once i said it a thousand times caucasians know that they're losing their power they know this a lot of us don't think so but we that in the knowing know that they're losing power now this clip i'm going to put here i do not own the copyright the clip the clip is for informational and awareness purposes only now you can see that this white guy is talking about when all the African nations come together and work as one, they're going to have to beg for material or minerals from Africa in order for them to survive. He live in England. So he said, seeing that England and America have been all over the world and get all the material, diamonds, gold, copper, zinc, everything from all the African countries to survive. Now, like I said before, you got the African countries coming together because they had enough of this BS. And they're not importing nothing from no Western worlds. And the white folks are realizing that the Africans are coming together. And when we do, we don't need no support from the body. We can maintain our own self. Now this clip, like I said, I'm gonna put here, it's about 11 minutes long. I don't like to go past but anyway, seeing that it's so informational and we need to know, check it out and see that they are losing their power and, they have to, and they're trying to apologize for what they've done over the years. It's too late. It's too late for the apology. We don't need the apology no more. We don't need their apology no more. It's too fucking late. Check it out, family. Breaking news. Breaking news! News that is breaking! Absolutely! Let's join BRICS. I'm in the UK. I want my country to join the BRICS Alliance. I really do. Or at least ask nicely if we can be a part of it. I mean, what would you rather do? Would you rather be, you know, under the boot of America and doing whatever they want and going around the world assassinating any leaders that stand up to us because we're stealing all their wealth? Would you rather carry on doing all that or would you rather our country ask politely to join an alliance that wants to deal with each other in a mutually beneficial way where they respect each other's sovereignty and boundaries and culture. Would you rather join uh, us ask to join that or carry on under the boot of America doing whatever America wants and then invading every, any country that America wants to invade because they want to steal their resources? Let me know in the comments below. It would be interesting. I think we need a referendum, don't you? Well, of all, I don't think the nations in BRICS would ever, ever, ever trust the UK. Not to talk about them trusting the UK to the point where they will now even allow the UK to come join them in their BRICS group. I don't think that's ever going to happen. But then again, you know these government people, these politicians, they can shock you. If there come a time or a day where we see that BRICS nation agree for the UK to join BRICS, then we can all agree that they are moving mad. <laughs> we can all agree that something has you know, affected them upstairs because what are you doing? Secondly, the people where they BRICS, let me use English. <laughs> the nations in BRICS all have something of value, right? They all have something that they're bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. They have resources, you know, all of that good stuff that they intend to exchange with one another as they trade fairly with one another, right? So, what I want to know now is, what would the UK be bringing to the table? <laughs> Nothing. UK, what do you intend to bring to the table? What, mm -hmm. what exactly would these people be getting from you? Because all of them, they are coming with stuff. So if they decide to take you in, which I don't think they will do, but you know, on the hypothetical chance that they do, what do they stand to gain from you joining them? What would what value would you be bringing to them? Nothing. Also, isn't the UK with NATO? So why in hell would the BRICS accept them again? I mean, what we're seeing right now is a different reality that some of them folks never thought would ever before them. They are seeing this reality before them in real time and they are struggling to see if they can change the inevitable end that's coming for them. That's basically all that's happening. When this collapse comes, and it's going to come, 
we in the UK are going to need to have some serious reflection on mistakes that have been made and especially our foreign policy in history. And we're going to have to rely on these nations that we've been stealing from for years to deal with us because we need them. We're not like Russia. We're not self-sufficient. Russia has its own oil, its own food, its own air. It doesn't have to import anything. It can survive without the world. We, a tiny little island, do not have that luxury. We need to import. That's why we've stolen so much in the history. So what happens, do you think, in the next decade, as African countries are rising and getting more powerful, and the Western countries that had them under their heel for so long, like the UK where I live, are on the way down and their economies are collapsing. What help do you think we're going to get from those, those countries that are becoming more powerful? How do you think that the Africans are going to look towards the English with regards to trade deals and buying their uranium off them if we need to? They're not going to look too kindly, are they? Especially if there's absolutely no apologies whatsoever. And as far as I can tell, this country doesn't apologise for Jack. And we don't even need people's apology anymore. The time we even wanted the apology at first, right now we don't know what you use an apology to. And we know that if people even come out and apologise now, you are not even apologising because you genuinely feel sorry for the things that you have done to us. We know that if you guys come out and apologize now, you are only doing so not because you feel bad for what you did to us, but because you feel bad for how things are changing for you, how the, the, you know, the tides are changing for you. Because if you feel sorry for what you've done, you would have long apologized. Not True that. Today, you know, <laughs> we talk about apology for 2023. Before that, apologize things. And the reason it doesn't apologize is because if it apologized for the stuff that it's done, it would have to start giving back all of the stuff that it's stolen. I've spent hours inside the British Museum. That place is an absolute, it's a treasure trove. It's incredible. And it's nearly all nicked. And we're going to have to, in the UK, in the West, really start looking at our place in the world and really start looking as to whether we really do value the things that we say we do. I saw somebody earlier saying, you know, this is what the West do. They just play pretend. It's no wonder. It's no wonder the West now accepts a man being a woman if he just identifies as one. Because we in the UK have been identifying as a nation that is on the side of law and order. A nation that values free speech as it's censoring everybody. A nation that values freedom of the press and is a shining light and a beacon for freedom of the press throughout the world whilst it's literally torturing the best journalist the world has ever seen in its capital. We say we are these things. Our government says them all the time. The diplomats are like that. But it's just all... Talk. Hot air. Nothing we do as a country backs up what these people are saying the country is. Nothing. I love my country and that's what I want my country to turn into, to be. It's, I think it's the most patriotic thing a person can do. But when I talk about these things, people call me a Putin puppet. They've been propagandised to such a degree. They don't know their allies when they meet them. And we've got some serious, serious apologising to do hmm. in this country. Too late. To all of these nations Too that late. we have stolen from. Too late. All of these nations whose leaders we've helped assassinate and overthrow. Too late. All of these coups that we've done around the world in countries just because 
we didn't like what they did. So we killed them and we overthrew <coughs> them and we put in a dictator who created the secret service. Too late. And was just brutal to the people in that country. We didn't care. Too late. As long as we carried on getting the oil. We're meant to be a country that cares about <coughs> these things, that cares about truth and honesty and justice. This country prides itself on the UK justice Okay, I, I heard enough. Hang on, I can pause this. Be noble and pure. And that's just not the truth, is it? <coughs> well, as you know your belt, so you lay on it. Hmm. The West spent hundreds of thousands of years laying this particular bed they better get ready to lie on it yeah we could have lived in a world where all of this could have been avoided we could have <clears> lived <throat> in a world where everyone equally benefits from what the universe has blessed folks i said it years ago i said it years ago there's enough money on the planet that every person can have a car and a house and live comfortable there's enough room on the planet. Every person have an air car line and live comfortable. These suckers don't want that. And they keep saying over and over again, it's going to come big, they're going to lose everything, and they're going to come to us for help. You're not going to give it to them. Nope. Those that were nice to us, yes. Those that are not going to have to keep scrambling and live in turmoil and distraction because they're wicked people. And the guests don't want to give in. To help no person out but themselves, and it's gonna come to an end, and it's coming faster than they expected. That's why they're trying to kill off us as fast as possible because they know that we're gonna survive, but they're not going to. All the distraction they do over the world, it ain't gonna work. Hang on, folks. And that's just not the truth, is it? Well, as you lay your bed, so you lay on it. The West spends hundreds of thousands of years laying this particular bed, they better get ready to lie on it. We could have lived in a world where all of this could have been avoided. We could have lived in a world where everyone equally benefits. I said that enough money on the planet that we all can live comfortable. Right? I guess said it. We have enough money on the planet. I guess said it. That we can live comfortable with a car and a house on the acre land and live comfortable. Those suckers don't want it, but their time is ending, and it's happening faster than they expected. But one group of people decided that they wanted it all for themselves, and then that everyone else should starve and live under the sky with no roof over their head, with no food in their bellies, with nothing to their name, because they were the superior ones who, you know, deserved everything good in life, and every other person could literally go to hell, right? And they didn't care. They did not care that they were living on the backs of other people. They did not care that they were stepping on the heads of people as they climbed to success and wealth and glory and you know world power title and all of those stuff that they have going for them. They didn't care what happened to every other group of people. So like I said, they laid this bed because nothing lasts forever. Nope. What goes around comes, comes around. around. Exactly. If the issue are getting for yourself, you are not getting purely you are not getting um morally uprightly it's eventually going to crumble Got you to. cannot build on the backs of others you cannot build on the heads of other people eventually they're going to it's like when you push someone you keep pushing them to the wall and you eventually they're going to retaliate if you keep if you keep beating a, beating the cat and pushing the cat in the wall eventually the cat gonna retaliate and fight back and that happened to black people the terror getting beat, terror getting put down, terror get illuminated, suddenly get, you name it, man. So we start of it. Time it has to come to an end. You just hope that they never would fight back or take steps that is going to liberate them. Tables do turn. And this table, <laughs> it does shut the tongue and it's turning very fast. This table has been divided. So like I said, they left this bed, they better get ready to sleep on it. Well, guys, let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are of this. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for... Like I said, family, <laughs> you make your bed, you lie in it. All the shit they've been doing for years, it have to come back to you, man. They don't understand how the universe works. They call it karma.
It's called cause and effect. It causes what goes around, comes around. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. And despite the fact it takes 450 years, it's going to come right back, man. It's going to come right back to you. And it's come back swifter than it happened to us. It can be worse for you. But if you had time to wake up and apologize and do what was right and you didn't, back out here. I'm out of here. Peace out. Remember, that's separation. That's togetherness. Divided we fall together we stand. I'm out of here. Peace out. One love.